Hi there, welcome to number one Geeky Design Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid Snakes mod. Now, as you remember last episode, we weren't doing too well. Um, the other thing is, is that I am going to be taking another mental break week. Uh, but what I'm going to try to do is do two episodes in one go. So, uh, hopefully, that will allow me to uh, carry on and you'll get entertainment over the two weeks. Uh, not so sure about Stardust because Stardust takes a little bit more in the way of um, editing. Usually what I do with this one is just take out all the silent bits or the, the boring bits. And that's uh, and that's done really. It's just, just a question of just going through it and it's done where but Stardust has a has a little bit more of a different style to it. I try to be at least like totally different because the games have different tones onto them. But uh, yeah, well, what we're doing still is we're looking for where this golden key might be. Now we've checked the mansion, which is where I, I thought it might be. But uh, this area is quite big. And so any one of these buildings could actually have... Uh, The image, which I will show you in a second. There's more coming up. Come on, you. With your bread knife. Whoop. Christ, they're proper going now, aren't they? was a bit of work out on it certainly seems to have drawn quite a few of the zombies out there didn't I actually I just realized let's remove the broken glass here yeah. right let's see what's in here it's a bit it's toy shop isn't it yeah so not really anything of value really to survival apart from maybe just entertainment but beating zombies over the head tends to be entertainment now hopefully I'll be able to show you <laughs> Oh no, still more. <laughs> See, I was sure I cleared this building out last time, but I think obviously because of me restart. Oh, where? Where? I'll just have a quick run up here. So I'll show you the image here. Oh, right. So there's like a chair here. There's a window. There's like a control booth. Don't know if it's either a shop or, or what, but I thought it might have been the uh, the mansion. I'm gonna do something stupid now. I see you. Hello. So I'd rather draw them out where I can deal with them rather than oh. 
We get mobbed in the close confines of a uh, of an apartment block. But that seems to have kind of done the job, to be fair. Anymore. Yep. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Pop. Let's do another hate. It sounds like they're all stuck behind doors. Obviously, not all of them, but. This apartment building as well, which I haven't even looked at yet. No sneaky, sneaky pop now. Hopefully, at some point, the zombies will run out. look like a house though doesn't it i really don't want to be uh finding myself in here in there maybe somehow i've dragged them all away from this area oh, well i can hear zombies yeah i've probably raided this one big time haven't i also need to start looking at uh, changing my um my outfit oh crap Tree around this corner, and I didn't see him. I oh, know they came through the window. That's some painkillers. Dehydrated meat stick. It's quite obvious I didn't do a full shakedown of the place. Uh -huh. Can I sneaky, sneaky pop? Nope. Well, I'm kind of out in the open without anybody doing that. Let's have a quick look at the map. Let's see if there's any buildings around here that might. Well, there's something down here, isn't there? Hmm. Because there's the garage. I mean, my main intent is literally just to find this uh, place where the golden key opens the sh the safe. That is simply it. Let's pop ourselves down here. That's the road, isn't it? Check again. Yeah. Okay. So this place is fairly untouched, so I should be expecting some zombies down here at least. Could this be it? Did see a zombie there, didn't I? Standing at the door. Canned food. <laughs> Very simple living. So, what about this place over here then? Well, it certainly doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, so something interesting up there that caught my eye. There's a hole up there. Now, I'm wondering if I build a staircase up there. Will 
one. Oh, looks like I can. That's good. I need about 15, I think 15 planks. There's some wood here. We saw those logs. Looks like seven planks so far. There's a log pile over here which might be able to help me. I think I just saw a log pile down the side of that building as well. 12, just three more to go. It's funny, I really need to saw one, don't I? Carpentry stairs. Yeah, so I do need one more plank. Because I need to put some flooring in up here. And then we'll find out what's in up here. Bugger all. <laughs> After all that, well, to be fair, that's not quite bugger all because there's quite a few like, bro brain tanks and stuff. So, yeah. But not quite the uh, Holy Grail smoking gun or anything that I was, I was hoping for. There you go. If I need propane, I know where to go. Still haven't read that book. I'm getting tired. Right, well, I'm going to have to take a bit of a risk here, I think. I can't even barricade it. Because there's no window. It's just an open frame. Oh, balls. Okay, well, risk is going to have to be taken. Hopefully the zombies won't see me. This is the thing that does annoy me, is the, the sleeping. Right, so... We know for fact... That nothing's here. So the next question... Is where else would it be? Let me have a quick look at the map. There might be a building there that I can look at. That was a bit of a disappointment, wasn't it? Let me just quickly check. I hear zombies. That's what's up here. Looks like there's supposed to be a plot on there. One of the reasons why I thought this was, he says it's one of his constructions, obviously, because he's speaking in Spanish. So a little bit uh, translating wise, he's not really quite described too well what's going on, but he's just one of his constructions, so it could be anywhere. It could be a complete wild goose chase. Or there's a building that Snake's put on here that no one's discovered yet. Where did the hell did all these guys come from? Oh well, let's deal with them. Probably came from this big building up here, most likely. Well, that's what I hope. Oh, they could have come from that building there. Alright, that window. And we'll uh, throw a cat amongst the pigeons. Let's get the heck out of there. See how many have come out of this bing up here. Okay, so it looks like I've come up to the 30 minute mark, which is what I usually tend to stop to try at least set it down to 15 minutes. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll head back to base. Well, it seems I'm going to record again afterwards. It's not been too much of a hassle. But I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, please uh, pop some down on that uh, like button. Or press that like button. Smash it or whatever they say nowadays. Give me some clout with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Or well, pop some down in the comment section. That also helps as well. And why not press the subscribe button as well. And the bell icon so you get it updated every time I upload content to YouTube. Especially if you like the stuff that I do. Where the hell was that noise come from? Is this one inside there? I'll find out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.